All right, y'all, so I know y'all haven't uh, heard from me in uh, quite a while. Um, I've been working on this 93 F-150 and uh, looks like I might need a new ECM for it, um, but I'm not really worried about that anymore. Uh, it's just sitting to the side for right now. I'm going to go ahead and focus more on the F-100, and uh, today we are going to uh, attempt to paint this thing. Uh, I'm not a professional painter. I've painted cars before a couple of times. Um, some came out great, some came out okay, I guess. Uh, but this is flat black, so this is really going to be my first time shooting uh, a flat color. And kind of, kind of iffy about it right now. But here we have the doors. I have the fenders hanging right now, and I have the cab right next to the camera. Can't see it right now. Just a little bit out of uh, the, the camera sight. But um, we are gonna attempt to paint today. As you see, I've converted my garage into, I uh, guess, a paint booth. I went ahead and swept and I uh, leave blowed everything that I could possibly blow out of here. And um, still a little bit dusty, but I mean, that's fine. Like I said before, this is not a show truck and I don't care for it to be a show truck or look like a show truck. I just want it to look the way I want it to look. And for some reason, if this paint fails me, I mean, if it doesn't come up to what I want or how I want it to look, then I'm just gonna say the hell with it and I'm gonna wrap it um, uh, in vinyl wrap. It's probably gonna be the same color. I don't know, it might have some designs in it. I'm not sure. But uh, if I do wind up wrapping it, it's gonna, it's, I'm gonna come up with something different. But, here we go at this attempt at painting. I already cleaned all the doors. Uh, they, they're, they're, they're sanded, I don't want to touch them. Uh, they're sanded right now, real good. Um, with 320, I got some acetone, went all over the door with the acetone. Um, and they're, they're just ready to be painted right now. I got to mix the paint, uh, cause it's, uh, Four. It's a four to one ratio with the hardener, the, the, with the flat black paint and the hardener. It's a four to one ratio. I gotta mix that right now, put it in the gun, and uh, after I strain it, and then go ahead and start spraying. So we'll take care of that right now. And of course, my phone wasn't working right. Um, I pushed play or push record and for some reason it just didn't record it. Just let me show you um, how it came out. This isn't good lighting. I had better, I adjusted the lighting in here. Uh, then I took it down cause I had to open the garage. Uh, so let me show you real quick. So here's the doors. I need to wipe them down though. Of course they're gonna need another coat. That's the I didn't fix that dent because, like I said, I don't. If small dents, I mean that's fine. Um, this is the cab. I know it's dirty on the inside still, but uh, that's not dust. That's like uh, stuff that needs to be wiped up. I know that, but that's what we have right now. Here's uh, the front gap piece. Now, I just noticed something on this door. This is why it's stupid. Look at this. See all this little grit stuff that's all, all over it? And then this damn mosquito messed it up. But it's going to get another coat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lightly sand it and apply another coat to it. And... Uh, It'll come out better. But, I mean, that's just a risk you take on doing stuff like this in your garage. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, there's been uh, quite a bit of stuff that's been going on uh, in this video. Went ahead and finished painting it. Uh, just about finished painting it. I still need to do some minor touch-ups. Like, I have little scratches where I put in paint whenever I put out the door on. 
real pain in the butt to get this door on if you're only doing it by yourself. Do not ever do this by yourself. I recommend you get some second or even third person. Um, and it's still laying on right. I still had to paint a little bit on the top and on the back side that I had to do a little bit of minor body work to. Um, put one fender on, the other one's off. The inner fender, both of them are on on both sides. Almost the full front end. These are the lights that I'm gonna be running on this truck. Uh, don't know if y'all can see that pretty good, but that's one of the lights. Um, went ahead and bought all brand new body mount bushings. They've been uh, installed. I know I should have put that in the video, but um, I'm kind of in a rush right now on throwing this truck together um, because of the fact that in, I guess, a little bit less than four hours, I'll be on the road. 16 and a half, 16 and a half hour long drive to uh, Colorado in the mountains. Little family vacation that we're taking. So um, trying to get as much done as I can possibly get. And uh, right now what I'm tackling is, I'm tackling the fuel lines. Um, so it is a 67 F100, a 88, 1988 F250, 5.8 for 351 Windsor motor. Um, and the fuel lines, all the electrical came with it. Uh, well, I bought all the electrical uh, with the motor. Uh, C6 transmission, of course. And I have uh, all of the wiring for the computer, the um, everything, just everything. So before I even do the bed, I will try to get this truck running before I even put the bed on. Um, when will that be? I don't know. I can't tell you. It might be one week after I come out for vacation. It might be next January, next February. I'm not sure, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, there, I, I did find some little issues with the fuel lines. Um, I do run, want to run two fuel tanks on this truck. Just don't want to run one fuel tank. I did get a F-150 fuel tank for the rear. Um, I, I'm, I, I might need to find uh, another tank for the middle because I can't use one that's on a 90 something or 80 something F-150, F-250 gas truck because those middle fuel tanks looks like it's going to be a little bit too big for this truck. So I'm going to have to try to find try to find something out uh, as far as that goes. I might, I might see if a Ford Ranger fuel tank will do the job. Um, just maybe upgrade the pump or something. And the, the issue that I'm having with the fuel line is somebody had cut the fuel line going to the middle tank. So, with the, the, the tank that's in the middle of the truck. So, I'm having to cut those lines off with the grinder. I did clean up the fuel line, so it doesn't have any gas in it. So, yes, I'm grinding on it. Um, no fires as of lately. And I did take care of one of the lines, and I'll show you right here in a minute what I'm talking about. All right, so y'all can see this line right here. This line I've already cut off. Uh, here it is right here. Um, y'all can see where where I cut it. And, uh, well, that's where they cut off the, the line at the yard. I just went ahead and bought this because, I, I mean, I'm... I knew it was still usable. I just had to have, add my own line over here. And I'm just gonna make a slight cut right here on this one so I could break it off. And uh, this is this right here is for the middle fuel tank, for the fuel, well actually for the fuel tank that goes in the middle of the truck, the bigger one. So I gotta find out what's gonna match up with these hoses, what kind of fuel tank I'm gonna be able to put in this truck for uh, the auxiliary tank or the main tank, whatever. All right, so here we are. I went ahead and uh, connected the fuel lines. Um, this one right here, then the fuel line goes all right here. I might have to go ahead and, and cut this, 
this one cut a section out and put a, a small rubber hose in the middle that's uh, like another fuel line so I could move this nipple more this way I want to straighten out this one just the way I did this side uh, this is for the another fuel tank for the second fuel tank and I have the lines running underneath through this bracket right here and this way so looks like what I am gonna do is right here somewhere along the line right here I am gonna cut it I'll flare the lines and add another rubber fuel line to go to the 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 pump itself for the tank because these lines are too long but that's for another one and um, I just don't have time to do another video right now on that well there you have it that's all I got time for for right now I gotta try to catch a couple of Z's in before I uh, get on the road so there's just just a quick update on the F100 Man, those wheels are ugly. I can't wait to get my other ones. But let me show you what I'm going to be rolling on just for now. So these, I don't even know the name brand of these wheels, but uh, they're actually staggered. The The rim is wider. I don't even know the size of the, the rims, but the other ones uh, are in my back storage. I will have to run an adapter just for the front, to because uh, this one is a... Uh, five by four and a half, and I need five by five and a half. So I'm gonna get the adapter for uh, five by four and a half converted to five by five and a half, and then run the original wheels on. And I will, of course, be needing some new tires or even some good used ones. I mean, it don't matter, but that's all for now. I'll catch you on the next one.